In this video, you'll learn all about the best grills to buy, whether you like smoking, searing, roasting, or just grilling a few burgers now and then. The best new grill of 2023 isn't even a grill. You also learn about the differences between pellet, charcoal, gas, pro gas, and the next new outdoor phenomenon. Overall, there's a lot to discover. The best new grill isn't even a grill, but a griddle. I remember working as a kid at Yale where there was a coffee shop next door. The owner cooked everything on a griddle, including hamburgers, hot dogs, omelets, hash browns, pancakes, and even its cousin, the French toast. The Traeger Flat Rock is a competitor to the highly successful Blackstone griddles. With Traeger, you get three zones for cooking different foods, such as bacon, eggs, and pancakes on the same griddle at different temperatures. They also designed it without an opening between the griddle and the rest of the chassis so the flame won't be blown out by the wind. And the cleanup is so easy, just scrape it in the front and you're done. And the grease tray is large, easily accessible, and easily removable. Griddles can cook any type of food, may even be better than grills for small items as shrimp and vegetables. They're also more user-friendly for hot dogs and sausages. But griddles don't provide the same sear as a grill and lack an infrared burn for quick searing, unlike the pro grill units. Legend has it that GIs brought ceramic grills back from Japan. Regardless, ceramic charcoal grills have attained a cult-like status, and Kamado Joe is the best. Kamado Joe grills are incredibly versatile and can be used for every cooking method, such as grilling, smoking, roasting, and baking. The ceramic walls provide insulation, allowing for more fuel efficiency and less charcoal needed. Additionally, Kamado Joe grills have temperature controls for precise cooking. The top and bottom vents can be easily adjusted to control airflow and raise or lower temperature, giving you full control on your cooking. And those ceramic walls can also help retain moisture for juicier, more flavorful food. Kamado Joe grills are designed to last and withstand the elements, making them a reliable option for Kamado enthusiasts. Kamado Joes are incredibly versatile, allowing you to be creative with a ceramic type grill. However, they have a learning curve and they're not the easiest to use. If you're only grilling a burger occasionally, I wouldn't recommend a Kamado. For ease of use, many people prefer using pellet grills for smoking. If you love to grill, Kalamazoo is the best on the market. It's important to note that Kalamazoo is made to order only. The grill is deeper than any other built-in grill, providing a natural convection system for more evenly cooked food. The other main difference is the hybrid drawer, which allows you to use charcoal or wood. Kalamazoo is the only grill that combines the speed of a professional gas grill with the flavor and texture of charcoal and wood. You can even customize the grades based on the food you're grilling. Plus, it is available in marine grade steel, making it the only grill designed to withstand the elements if you live by the ocean. With natural convection flow and the ability to add the flavored wooden charcoal in the hybrid drawer, your food will taste the best from a Kalamazoo. However, the Kalamazoo hybrid grill starts at over 25,000, making it a significant investment. It's not recommended for occasional grillers, but for those who are passionate about grilling and looking for the best grilling experience. Genesis is a popular grill series sold at Yale. Weber is focused on the Genesis series with two different improvements. First, they completely redesigned its popular Genesis line a few years ago with a new first strike ignition, flavorizer buyers, and a better grease management. So it's better than any other competitive grill, especially with its ability to withstand our New England winners. You can buy different accessories like the ever popular griddle, the roasting basket to grill vegetables so they don't slip through the crevices of the grates. Pizza will be easier to cook with their baking stone accessories as well. Genesis is a good gas grill. It is the best value between 1,000 and 2,000 mostly because competitive grills aren't so good. Gas grills cannot add flavor or smoke like smokers. The griddle is a clever idea, but will not be as consistent as the dedicated griddles. The DCS is an all sear griddle, which means the entire surface can reach up to 1100 degrees by using ceramic elements throughout the grill. Links and Heston, on the other hand, have to use a dedicated infrared sear element to be able to sear. The DCS Series 9 also comes with a wood and charcoal basket accessory that allows you to infuse your grilled food with a smoky flavor. Additionally, you have some worthwhile accessories such as a side burner with 70,000 BTUs and a dedicated griddle as well. So it has good power and sear with the ceramic rods, also easier to clean. Smoking is not as effective even with smoker trays. Some people love this grill, 
but it's not for everybody. An all-sear grill is made of all infrared burners instead of regular gas. Unless you buy it without a sear element, Lynx regular gas grills will have one infrared burner for searing. We've written posts comparing the two. Infrared is a more intense direct heat, whereas the regular gas burner diffuses the heat. You'll be able to cook fast with infrared, but you can also burn your food more easily. This is the fastest sear you can buy, but do you always need to sear quickly? Again, gas cannot add flavor and texture to your food. It can be difficult to achieve lower temperatures and cook more water-soluble foods with an all-sear grill. Hessen's already the best looking grill available in 12 different finishes. It has a BTU output of 25,000 BTU per burner, plus 25,000 just for searing. It has a rotisserie system holding 50 pounds of meat, with a powerful 12 to 18,000 BTU variable infrared in the back. You can even cook the meat on your rotisserie or top shelf, which can cook quickly for a good secondary sear burner. The hood will stop wherever you want, so you can open slightly to cool down your grill, and Heston has those thicker diamond cut grates to retain heat better. If you're looking for a less expensive Pro, the Aspire series is less expensive with 23,000 BTU burners, only nine colors and just regular grates. Heston's powerful, stylish, and has even cooking with a great rotisserie system, as well as thicker grates. Cons is higher price and it's not as versatile as other options. Grilling with wood fire pellets is suitable for low and slow cooking with the ability to add flavor. They're advertised as grills, so the expectations fast, which at a maximum 500 degrees is not possible in a pellet style grill. However, the Timberland 1300 has better construction so you don't lose much heat when it is open. And unlike their less expensive models, their Wi-Fi wi system allows you to monitor your grill throughout an app on your phone. In addition, the side burner is induction, not gas. Induction will cook faster than gas and simmer much better. So this is suitable for low and slow cooking with the ability to add flavor. It's better construction than other pellet types, and the Wi-Fi system allows you to monitor your grill through an app. However, it is a limited with a maximum temperature of 500 degrees, so if you're cooking just a few hamburgers or hot dogs, this is probably not the product for you. If you'd like to see how a griddle cooks cheese steaks, pancakes, and eggs, click this link, and thanks for watching.